I told myself I wasn't going to mod this one, yet here it is, the mono price select mini upgrades and mods that I have done to it. Some of them are just more for fun and uh, aesthetic, and some of them are actually performance upgrades and things that I think increase the output of this printer, so let's get into it. Um, all the links to these Thingiverse files will be in the description. First thing I installed were these Z-Rod stabilizers. Um, I was getting some vibration on my X-axis due to the Z-Rods not being completely tight and tightened down, and this definitely helped to stabilize the Z-Rods and minimize vibration of the X-axis, which I didn't really notice much difference in print quality, but it definitely made my printer quieter when uh, at certain uh, level heights it vibrated a lot for some reason, so it was a pretty easy fix. Then was the E3D hot end upgrade. Um, this was definitely a little bit more intimate of a fix. Um, I went ahead and live streamed this for you guys and it was a little bit of a headache. Um, mostly parts that you were supposed to be able to reuse, screws and whatnot, were not working. So I will definitely say get some M3 uh, nylon lock nuts when you're going to perform this upgrade as well as some additional M3 screws of various sizes. That way, um, if you need a little longer of a screw, you can go ahead and use that. Uh, luckily, I had a bag, so you know I was able to do so. And then for the second fan, I just went ahead and I soldered it um, up into the underside of the main board where the 12 volt uh, line is. So that way, it has power. Basically, when you flip the switch for the printer on, the layer cooling fan um, automatically kicks on. And then the other fan is the same one that came with the printer, so it's basically going to be controlled um, by your slicer, and it will turn on and off as necessary. And I'll place a link in the description again to all of the Thingiverse files, as well as if you want to pick up, this is a J-Head, which is a E3D clone. It is what I used on my printer and works amazingly. Then I went ahead and upgraded the knob, which is another thing I did on live stream. Definitely was more for fun than anything because the stock knob didn't really bug me, but I figured it would be a fun way to get some more 3D modeling practice, show off some basic 3D modeling practices, and uh, just a fun little customization to this printer. So I went ahead and did that with Glow in the Dark PLA. It turned out amazing. I'm very happy with it. It looks awesome at nighttime. Um, as you can see there too, I did an LED mod. Um, which was something I totally did not plan on doing. I was about to put my printer back together after like my final little upgrade inside and notice that the LEDs were the same as the big box that I had, just standard LEDs. And so I swapped them and so now it's got green, which looks really cool with the glow in the dark PLA that I used. Next was this little bracket. I wanted to use a glass bed on my 3D printer. I prefer glass over aluminum, one because there's no bowing at all and I like the shiny finish on the bottom of the uh, 3D printed parts and so that was a pretty easy fit. Um, when you print the part just make sure you use some supports, you'll need them, and you have to print it on its side. And basically just take the back panel off of the Monoprice Mini and put this little clip on the, um, basically the part that goes down so it'll hit the end stop a little bit sooner and give you that little extra width that you need for your um, glass bed. I just basically used a um, piece of glass from a photo frame but I'll probably get a little thicker piece of glass in the near future and then I went ahead and installed this awesome bracket which allows you to mount a Raspberry Pi on the back of your Monoprice Mini which in a very sleek and slick way I'm extremely happy with how this turned out I um, basically run Octoprint which allows me to print wirelessly over my network and it is a very nice feature to have it's a convenience factor i know that the monoprice has wi-fi built in but it's definitely not nearly as intricate and um, doesn't give you nearly as many options even with the software you can use with it um, that the octoprint software does do so um, you're going to want to use the raspberry pi 3 uh, bottom part and you can use the raspberry pi 2 top part for this case it threw me off a little bit, but I can confirm that those are the two parts you need, and this is how it looks in the end. I also went with the green PLA on the case because I thought it would look nice with the green LED as well as the kind of, um, I don't know, I guess whitish, greenish uh, dial I went with in the front. So anyways, guys, these are all of the modifications that I went ahead and did, and I got to say that this printer is printing even better than it originally was. However, 
again for anyone that is looking at this printer as a printer to get into 3d printing no these are not things that you need to do the printer does print just fine out of the box i just have to modify everything that i own and and make it a little bit more custom and again that is why literally the channel is modbot i have to be modding things otherwise it's a, a false name but um, i had a lot of fun with this project and it was something i was very kind of proud to show off and um yeah i just it was a lot of little things, but in the end, I'm extremely happy with how well it all turned out. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you have any questions, don't forget to smack the like button if you enjoyed this video and enjoyed all of the upgrades and modifications. And on that note, I will see you guys in my next video and in my next project. Once again, this has been Daniel from ModBot. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I am out. Peace, guys.